Good morning, everyone. We are going to go get started with our media availabilities for today. We are now joined by Austin Hill, driver of the number 21 Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand, and we will get a mic over to you as soon as possible. We'll start with Zach, and then go to Jim. Zach Sterniolo, NASCAR.com. Austin, congratulations on announcing uh, resigning with Richard Childress Racing. What made that the right decision for you at this time? Yeah, I mean, really the past, I guess, two or three months, there's been a lot going on uh, outside of racing. Um, you know, I've been talking with a lot of different teams, you know, potentially going cup racing, this and that. Um, and, and it actually came very close to going cup racing. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, Richard made it pretty tough on me um, just because of the man he is and, you know, everything that we've done last season and this season together. together um, I'm just I'm, – I'm very, very loyal to a fault. And, um, you know, I – I think that Richard and I, we share the same values. We, we like doing the same things, and it, it makes it really easy to work for somebody like Richard Childress when, um, you know, you do the same things together. Uh, we went hunting last year together. We're going hunting again this this season uh, in between uh, Martinsville and Phoenix. So there's, there's a lot of things outside of just driving the race car that just made sense to me, and, and that's one of the reasons why it made it um, really a – at the end of the day, an easy decision for me to stay here uh, with with RCR and and to kind of keep building that um, building that momentum with them going forward and and hope to do it, get to do it for for a really long time and and it's really really nice to see that we're doing a multi year deal and um, you know I can sleep better at night knowing knowing what my future looks like for at least the next few years. We'll go to Jim. Jim Uh Along those lines, Austin, your multi-year deal, does that necessarily mean that you have to, you'll be competing in Xfinity for multiple years, or how is it structured where is there some opportunity for you possibly to do cup at Richard Childers Racing? So, you know, next year it'll, it'll definitely be Xfinity for sure. Um, you know, going forward after that, it, it all depends, you know, if, if things open up, um, you know, let's say that RCR is able to acquire a third charter or something like that, you know, there's no telling what, what could, could happen. But uh, as of right now, uh, it, it is structured for Xfinity for the next two years. Um, but there again, I mean, things can change in the way it's kind of structured and the contract and all. Um, there's things that, that can obviously change, but uh, we won't know those for – for now, um, you know, maybe at the end of next year, we might have a better understanding of, of where we'll be. But um, honestly, I, I love running the Xfinity series. I love racing the Xfinity cars. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun to drive, um, you know, slipping and sli sliding around in those things and stuff like that. So um, I'm really actually really happy where I'm at right now. Um, and I don't think it's anything where I need to have to rush it to, to go to cup. Um, you know, if, doors open over at RCR or something and, and we're able to, like I said, do like a third charter or something, then yeah, I'd, I'd be more, more than willing to, to try that and to go cup racing. But um, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun right now where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's definitely options out there to try to run. You know, if, if I can next year run, you know, five, six, seven cup races next year, then, then that, that would be, you know, great to do. Um, but as of right now, I don't, I don't have anything for next season or, or the season after as far as uh, on the cup side. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping to at least kind of run some different various racetracks, not really run the same ones that I've been doing, you know, how I've been doing the super speedways and that type of stuff. Um, you know, I'd like to, if we do run some, cup races next year, wh whether that's with Beard or wherever that is, um, I'd like to try to do some like mile and a half, maybe some short tracks, that type of thing, just kind of uh, dip my toes into to those just to see how I like it. We'll go to Dustin and then over here to Deb. Dustin Albino, JC Austin, you're in a pretty good battle here with John Hunter for the regular season championship. How much attention are you or have you been paying to that? <clears throat> well, I think that my team's probably looking at that a lot more than I am. 
obviously I know that if the 20 cars in front of me, I, I know it. I mean, I can see it on the racetrack. So, you know, if, if I see that the 20 is in front of me, I'm not panicking or anything inside the race car, but I do know that I'm losing some points to him at the end of these stages if he is ahead of me. So, you know, I, at the end of at the end of a certain stage, you know, if, if, if I see that he finished two or three spots in front of me, I, I know that I lost some points to him. But like I said, I'm not in panic mode or anything like that. Um, the biggest thing for me is I know that I'm doing my job as long as I'm staying ahead of him and, and um, you know, the seven and double zero, you know, those guys. If As long as I'm staying ahead of them, then I know that I'm doing my job. And But at the end of the day, I mean, we're just trying to win races, um, trying to get stage wins because, you know, the stage points and all that and the bonus points that you get adds up, especially for when the playoffs start. So trying to rack up as many bonus points as we can going to the playoffs is kind of our biggest thing. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, to your question, we are definitely looking at it, but I do think my team's probably monitoring it a little more than I am. Go ahead, Deb. Deb Williams, Auto Week. Uh, this is kind of a this is an off track question, but parenting has always been a tough job. But now parents have to deal with social media. How do you teach your children to be responsible? And do you go back and show them anything that happened early in your career to say, "Hey, look, I shouldn't have done this, but this is what you need to do." Um, yeah, I mean that's a good question. I. <clears throat> for me, I mean, the, the easiest way for me to avoid all the social media stuff is don't really post on social media. That's that kind of the easiest way to stay out of all the 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 news, I guess. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, you just – there's definitely things that um, – you just really got to think about stuff, you know, really think about the whole situation before you post something, before you like anything, before you retweet – uh, and for me, the easiest way to avoid that is just to not do it, um, honestly. So it, it keeps me out of getting in trouble with with sponsors or NASCAR or the race teams. Um, so I, I try to keep it just racing-related stuff. And other than that, I, 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 I'm not one to post a lot on social media, so I'm probably not the best to answer that question. <laughs> well, when I was growing up in a small town, my mother always said, be careful because you never know who's watching. And that, and what I ever I did always beat me home. She knew it as soon as I came through the door. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and anything that you post or like on social media, uh, somebody's gonna screenshot it right away. So uh, someone's always watching for sure. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. We'll go to Chris on your left. Chris dot com. Uh, Austin is uh, United Rentals and all your current partners returning with you in twenty twenty four. Well, I mean, we're we're certainly hoping so. Um, we're working on for 2024 having all of our marketing partners signing back up with us but at this time we're we're still working on that are there any final questions for austin all right austin thank you thank good you. luck this weekend